Today, we're diving into the key differences between client-side and server-side Klaviyo API endpoints. If you're enjoying this video, like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future developer resources like this. Whether to make an API request client-side or server-side depends on where data is captured and how it should be handled based on security best practices. We'll go over what each is, when to use them, and we'll walk through a real example so you can see it in action. Let's jump over to Michaela to break it all down. First, let's talk about client-side endpoints. Client-side APIs are used to capture and send user behavior data directly from the client or user's device to Klaviyo in real time. Think website browsing, clicks, and form submissions. For example, Let's say Beantown Coffee wants to track when their customers view their coffee samples collection page. They decide to use the client-side Create Client Event Endpoint, since collection viewing can be tracked directly from the customer's browser. Since Beantown's site is hosted on Shopify, they can add JavaScript to a custom liquid block. Add your client-side API request to the desired page wherever your site's code is hosted. On the Coffee Samples page, they can copy the example JavaScript Create Client Event API request. Because this client-side code is publicly accessible, sensitive data should never be included in client-side requests. Beantown's viewed collection event will not contain any sensitive data, like credit card information or delivery address, making it safe to send this event client-side. Authenticate client-side API calls with your public API key, also known as your company ID. This key can be found in your account settings. Your public API key can't be used to retrieve sensitive information out of your Klaviyo account, so it is safe to include a public API key in front-end code. Add this key to the request URL as the company ID query parameter. Next, Beantown can update the body of the API request to include relevant details, like the event name, viewed collection, the name of the collection, and customer email so that the event is logged on the correct profile. Use the Create Client Event documentation to set up your API request. Now, whenever an identified user visits this collection page, a viewed collection event will be recorded on their Klaviyo profile. The Klaviyo object offers a shorthand way to interact with Klaviyo's client-side APIs and send events into Klaviyo. It is included with Klaviyo's on-site tracking and allows you to easily make client-side API calls to identify customers on your site and track their browsing behavior. Just like with the Create Client Event Endpoint, you can use the Klaviyo object to track a viewed collection event for identified users every time they visit a collection page. Check out our video on setting up on-site tracking with Klaviyo's JavaScript to learn more about how to use the Klaviyo object. Next, let's talk about server-side endpoints. Server-side API requests are handled on your server rather than the user's browser, making requests more secure so you can pass sensitive information via server-side API calls. Let's expand on our example from earlier. Beantown offers seminars on sustainability, and customers can register to attend on their website. To track registrations, Beantown uses the server-side Create Event API. Since customers need to enter their address and phone number, Beantown will send this information server-side to ensure this data is passed securely to Klaviyo. The Beantown developer team works in Python, so they can use Klaviyo's Python SDK to make a request to the Create Event endpoint when someone registers for a seminar. They authenticate this server-side API request with a private API key that they created in Klaviyo and instantiate the SDK. Private API keys are confidential and should only be used with server-side API calls rather than publicly accessible client-side calls. Next, Beantown can write the body of this API call, including any relevant event attributes, just as they did with the client-side call. They will include seminar name and seminar date as event data, and they update the name of the event to registered for seminar. Finally, they set the appropriate customer data, like email and billing zip code. Then, they use the Klaviyo SDK to send this to Klaviyo as a new event. Now, when customers register for a seminar and provide their information, 
a secure event will be sent to their Klaviyo profile server side. Server side API calls can also be used to sync data to Klaviyo in bulk, such as subscribing multiple profiles to a list at once. Here's a quick recap of the two main differences between client and server-side API calls. 1. Authentication. Client-side API calls are authenticated with a public API key, while server-side API calls are authenticated with a private API key. 2. Use cases. Client-side is great for immediate, user-driven data, while server-side is best for sensitive or bulk data handling. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more Klaviyo API tutorials. In the meantime, looking for more information? Check out the description for links to some resources on our developer portal.